Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show. And you know, I forgot to get the candle and the well, you know, dad plays accordion. I guess I could have had him in the background playing some music. But I went old school Italian here. Yep, I went for the uh, for the straw thing here, the straw basket in the in the bottle. So I've got the 2009 Bellagio Chianti. Now, uh, this, uh, and, and it's like a 375 bottle. I bought this at World Market for $7.99. So, this is not a full bottle of wine. It's already 8 bucks. So, this isn't a cheap bottle by any means. Um, boing. I mean, if I could buy half bottles all the time, I definitely would. But it's a 375 milliliter, so that's half of a normal wine bottle. Uh, Chianti. This is a uh, Chianti DOCG. So, um, uh, from the Tuscany area, uh, they have various things of Chianti out there. They also have Chianti Classico, which is like kind of the more like the old school version or the old school area of Chianti, and um, it's supposed to be higher quality. So, um, let's kind of go through what the flat, what the uh, this type of bottle was supposed to be. So, um, when they were shipping their wines over here, I guess they were using bottles that weren't as um, strong. That were more um, uh, breakable, fragile, if you will. So um, the straw was meant to help protect the wine during shipping, so you wouldn't have as much breakage. Well, then I guess as the winemakers started making enough money to afford better bottles, they started putting them in bottles, you know, like that. You know, your tra your traditional quote Bordeaux bottle. Um, so you don't really see those bottles anymore. But this. Uh, and this is the Banfi Vineyards. Uh, I mean, they make a lot of wine over there. So this is one of their brands. So this is the deal. So I went ahead and had a little fun with it. So let's uh, let's talk about this particular. Um, okay, let's talk about this particular thing here. Um, now Chianti is majority of it is going to be Sangiovese, but in this case, well, not in this case, but uh, in this in this wine they have uh, three, sorry, four other varietals which are allowed in the DOCG for Chianti. Um, they don't have to be 100% Sangiovese. As a matter of fact, most of the time they're not 100% Sangiovese, even the Chianti Classico or the other Chiantis that are out there. I forgot there's like five or six besides Classico Chianti DOCGs, okay? Um, in this case, they have Sangiovese, uh, Canalo uh, Nero, uh, Treviano, and Malvasia, okay? So they have four total varietals in there. Um, Production area Tuscany, and let's see. Now they say that Sangiovese is 90% of the wine, and the rest of them are 10% total. So um, I don't know if that's for every vintage because they don't have the vintage on this uh, fact sheet, or if it's just, uh, or this is a certain vintage and they just didn't have it on there. But uh, I'm going to go with that at least 90% of it is Sangiovese. So Let's check it out. I'm looking to go here next year, by the way. So if you got any contacts, any hookups, any cheap stuff, let me know. All right, so uh, aroma-wise, more mineral-driven. I get a, a tad of smoke, earthiness. Some red fruits on the nose, but not a whole bunch else. Nothing really floral about it.
So on the palate, I get a, it's pretty light body, light tannins. Um, it's kind of fruity. Um, it's kind of soft. It's not. Uh, it doesn't. It's not, not really. Um, it's not really heavy wine. Um, like I said, a little bit of fruit. It's a little bit tart. I get kind of like a, a tart cherry type of aspect to it. Um, still get that little bit of smokiness, that earthiness to it, but nothing is very heavy. It's a very light wine. Um, well, I don't have much left in there to really like look at, but um, you know, really easy drinking. Now, I could I could literally just down this um, smooth. I wouldn't say silky, but really smooth. Um, I'm going to guess low alcohol, or it's or the alcohol is really well contained. 12.5% alcohol, so you know nothing nothing high in the alcohol range. So really, really just you know Christmas ornament, I guess. But um, really nice. Now, if I had to buy this as a 750 for um, approximately 16 bucks, I don't know if it'd be exactly 16 dollars for a full size, but let's say it was 15 to 14 dollars. I guess it, yeah. Be about right. You just now I look at this and I'm like, oh, an eight dollar bottle of wine. Well, it's not an eight dollar bottle of wine. It's a sixteen dollar bottle of wine. But um, it's really nice. I know it's really kind of, you know, goofy or kitschy or whatever you want to call it with with the uh, straw on it, and it kind of makes you think it should be cheaper than it really is. But you know what? It's pretty good wine. I like it. I like it a decent amount. Um, it's a little light. I, I want a little bit more fuller body out of it. But totally Italian. It's put it with just about anything, and I like it a lot. Um, I'm gonna give it an 89. Honestly, if it didn't have the stripe, I'd give it a 90. I just I can't give it a 90. I don't know. I don't know why I can't. But um, well, hell, I think it's a 90 point wine. I know it's got this straw thing on it, but I keep looking at it. But um, I'd give it like 90 points. I think it's really darn good. Um, yeah, if you can find this, buy it. Again, World Market, so it's pretty easy. They tend to have the same wines all over the country, so it being a, kind of a national brand. And um, you'll find they have this little hanging display where they have them all hanging like you know, like a tree. But uh, and I think they have like the larger bottles, too. But um, the only thing that really is distressing is that they don't have the price on it. That's why I bought the smaller bottle, because I did not know how much it was going to cost. Glad I bought the smaller bottle, because the bigger one would have been probably like 15 bucks. So, you know, trying to keep things, you know, prices down. Um, so I'm glad I bought the smaller bottle. Though now I kind of wish I bought the bigger one because I really like it a lot. So, anyway, that's going to do it for today's show. Um, doink. As always, stop by the website. Uh, leave some comments below. I'll have a link to the uh, website for this. And um, friend me up up top. Hit the donate button. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time.